Now let's start this module and in this module we'll focus on the incentivization methods. The first one we're looking at is making an offer they cannot refuse. Now here's the thing, when it comes to getting your audience to sign up to something, to participate in a contest or simply to get them to take an action, you need to offer them a good incentive. You need to be able to convince them to participate in whatever it is you're running. Previously, when I've run contests before, I have to really dig down deep and find the perfect offer that would compel my audience to participate. Now, quite often, your offer needs to be even better than what you would otherwise be selling. In fact, I've seen this strategy being done before in many product launches, where what we call a pre-launch offer, a pre-launch video training series, is far, far better than the actual course being sold. Now, while I don't ever recommend doing that because it does mean that the quality of the product that you're selling is not good, what I do recommend is giving as much value as you can up front. Because if you go into a new market, if you have no connection with the audience whatsoever, if you're running Facebook ads or any kind of ads to get audience to a particular page, you need to make an offer that they cannot say no to, which also means building trust with them, building your reputation with them. So in some cases, you might need to make your incentivization as best as you possibly can. In this case, I would recommend that you find something that your audience would otherwise pay for, maybe spend 10 bucks, 50 or 100 bucks, and you actually just give it away for free. Now, it doesn't mean that everyone who participates will get that for free, but perhaps just one person could get that particular object for free. Case in point, you've seen a lot of contests where they give away iPads, uh, iPhones, and anything like that. Gadgets work really, really well, but try and also show them exactly what they'll get, not just tell them, but you need to let them visualize the thing in their hand. You need to let them feel that once they get the tablet or once they get an iPhone, what all different things they can do with it. Very, very crucial. So give something for free that they would otherwise pay for. Let's think about a few more examples. Say, if you talk about the social contest pre-launch, we promise to give away between three to five free copies of the software for anyone who would participate in the contest and win. Now that itself is a very, very big incentive because the software would have otherwise cost anywhere between 17 to $97. So just to give that away for free drives a lot of people forward to actually participate in the contest. And if you think about it, it really only cost us maybe between three to $500 worth of products. But because in our case they were digital products, it wasn't really a problem giving them away to some people to get over 800 people participating in our contest. If you have an Amazon product, for example, what you could do is instead of just giving that product away for free, you could give a discount coupon for that product so that people could buy that product for, say, a dollar or even less. And when they do so, you can get them to also leave a review for you. And I know that when it comes to Amazon marketing, reviews are very, very crucial. So you can use this method to give something away for free that people would otherwise pay for. Now, I would also say that do not make your offers cheesy. What I mean by that is that there are tons and tons of offers out there for tablets, for iPhones, for these simple gadgets that have now become uh, a bit blurry. They've become a bit useless, I would say, when you run a contest. So instead, make your contest more fun. Make your contest more interactive. Don't just get something that everyone else is giving away. Go to Amazon and look for ideas. Look for novel ideas, for example. In fact, let me dive into Amazon right now and find some cool examples for you. So now I'm simply looking for gardening tools online on Amazon. But instead of just looking for looking for normal gardening tools that I would perhaps give away for free, I want to look for some funny ideas. And check this out. I simply searched for gardening tools funny and it brought so many results for me. And all of these different things are kind of funny. They're humorous. There's something that will catch attention. That is something that will get people to share my link with their friends and family. Let me show you another example. Now I'm searching for car parts funny. And again, simply adding the funny at the end helps me look for some cool products. This one is quite nice. So uh, NOS mini nitrous oxide bottle keyring keychain. 
you know it's not a great gift but at 450 four pound 50 i'm not really losing much out this would be close to six to seven dollars and simply giving away one or ten of these free will not cost me a lot of money you can find a lot of these different products out there just by looking at amazon check this out as well now i'm looking for another topic which is furniture funny and i just found these shoes funny indoor big toes feet form soft slippers it's a great great gift that i think anyone would love in fact i would love it too i might just go back and get this for me myself right now so think about what you could give away do not come up with something that everyone else is giving away your your gift doesn't need to be hundreds of dollars worth of uh, money it could simply be something that you can give away for a very very low price and here's the cool part if you're giving something away from Amazon you can still put a link on your contest page which people have to click to be able to see exactly what it is that you're selling or what it is that you're giving away and if you're clever enough you could actually offer them Amazon products either as an affiliate or a vendor whatever position you hold and you can do the same thing with Clickbank with JVZ or anything else of that sort the cool thing is this that even if the people on that page choose not to wait for the contest to finish and possibly win a copy you might still get some people buying something from that contest so just to do some quick maths if you think that you can drive 100 people to a contest to begin with on the first day well, I can tell you that you'll get more due to viral shares afterwards. But if you can drive 100 people to a contest page, I'm pretty sure that at least 10 of them are going to actually look at the link that you give to them on that contest. And if out of 10, if only one person buys it, say it's your own product being sold at $15, you make $10 from it, and that's already covering the cost that you spend in driving all this traffic. And you can do it over and over again and make sales simply as an affiliate or a vendor entirely up to you and then lastly if you think about it you can quickly go to Amazon search for new item ideas every single day and if you're interested in selling on Amazon well there's no better way to understand your market than doing exactly this now let's go on to chapter number two of this module